10 I sat in observation stand this morning and didn't really see too much. We decided to back out of there and, and come check out a couple different pieces. We're at this piece right now. I'm kind of loving it because this is the stuff I'm familiar with when I hunt back home in Michigan. Like this open river bottom type habitat with some hardwoods mixed in. We jumped one deer right off the bat. I had a small, small doe fawn come like 30 yards from me. And so it's a good sign right off the bat we bumped one. And just the rest of the stuff looks really good and it goes a ways back. So lots of crop fields on the neighboring side. And we're seeing a good amount of deer tracks. So everything's adding up. dropping out of the trees and taking off. There's so many squirrels in there. Mm -hmm. You're like, deer. Like, Whoa, okay. Yes. Walked right past her. I haven't been on the trail that long, so. Just drop down in. Keep on going. Maybe we'll spot one before it sees us. That's our first rub we've seen all week. Yeah. Today's 21st. We hunted started hunting in the 15th. That's our first rub we've ever seen all week. That's this year's. All the rest have been just old. If you've seen them. So there's a bug in here. Yeah. It's good. Good sign. We're just going to keep on working along this edge between the corn and these willows where that rub is at. See if we can't find a rub line, I guess. Also, it's a different habitat type that we've been hunting. We've been hunting kind of swamp with uh, kind of wetland I guess you want to call it it's what we've been targeting and, and like that oak brush is what we've been targeting where that big one was at a couple nights ago mm -hmm. now we're just in completely different habitat we got corn we got beans and we got these strips of willow trees there's a pond over here too with some cattails so there's a lot going on right here it's just awesome we found a rub we're kind of like shocked we're like whoa we found a rub <laughs> so we don't want to do anything that we would regret I think we're just gonna keep on working this edge, look for more rubs, and then, then we might bounce over to, to the pond and, and see if there's a trail, a couple of concentrated trails going to that pond. And, and I think we're in some good business there. <laughs> So we're all set up in our little makeshift ground blind here, if you want to call it that. We tucked ourselves back into this brush here along this pond edge. And Ted's tucked away really good. I don't think <laughs> it's hard for me even to see him in there. It's so good. I'm a little bit more in the open, but it's because I kind of have the long boat. I need a ton of room to even draw this thing back. So we've got about three and a half hours left of light, so we have a ton of light left. For any deer to come out here, and just, I mean, it'd be awesome if a doe comes out early and we shoot her, and then a big old buck comes by and we shoot him. See, now we haven't been seeing too many deer. It's not likely 
we'll try our best and see if we can't get one to come in within like 10 or 15 yards. That's the plan. So I guess we'll see what happens. Stay tuned. So cliche. Stay tuned. Stay tuned, he says. Stay tuned after the commercial. <laughs> right after this. <laughs> feels like we're getting down to the wire here a little bit on this trip to Missouri. We've been here for a week now and no but no deer to show for it. I mean no deer down so so basically what we're doing is we're just scouting our way in along this fence row that leads up to this pond that we were at last night and we've seen uh, like a doe and then a buck that might have been a shooter not sure yet. We're kind of just we have our hopes set on the big one that we saw I think that's been two or three days ago came really close to getting him um, or at least had a cool encounter with him so we're gonna just go in here and see if we can find any any buck sign and if we do find some really good sign I think we might try it but we kind of have our hearts set on that big one and it's been like I said two or three days since we went after him so we're gonna head down here and see what we find but hopefully <laughs> I'm still I'm kind of hoping we go after that big one <laughs> Oh, I just bumped a deer. Like right here. <laughs> and then, I mean, I see a couple of tracks right here leading right up to this. It's like rub, rub. It's great. Destroyed that tree. There's a buck in here. That's what it's up. Mm hmm. Or two. Or two. It's like he started rubbing it and then he started eating it. Ham. A couple willow trees right here. Wind's going that way. It might be good. I like Walk this. All the way back. Mm, climb up. Try to climb up. Good. Good. It's <laughs> <laughs> one spot right there. You get right on that little. So we just got our saddles. We weren't able to really stand standing in those trees. Our legs were getting tired. Ted's butt was getting a little sore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you can tell. As we're coming out, we spot this buck right here. We spot this buck, I mean, not that far in those beans. I think he's better than the grass, but he came out with these beans, booked it across this grass, and started running this corn edge. And I don't know, it was kind of just like a Hail Mary chance that we'd get a shot at him. I just booked it along, because I seen him round that corner, and, and I kept an eye on which tree he took a corner at. I just ran as much 
I ran as fast as I could, you know. Back was starting to hurt, but I still ran. And I got to a spot and I heard him. He was not that far in the corn, but he's, I spooked him and he ran down the railways and then cut out. So no bueno on that buck. He's, he's in the next part of the, not the county, but he's, in the, he's, a, he's a ways away, so. But we're gonna head back because there's still tons of deer sign over there. I mean, he, he could have been the one making those rubs, but there's a chance there's another buck in there making rubs too. Love this spot, got a good vantage. We could see a long ways if we decide to get down and spot and stalk one. So we got another two hours of light, so let's head over there and see if we can get a shot one. All right, guys. So that's gonna do it for tonight's hunt that we had. I'd say it's a pretty eventful hunt, being a, being that we chased after that buck earlier. He may have been the one that was making all these rubs in here and, and a few scrapes. So it's kind of a bummer when we busted him out of here, and but it was fun chasing him, chasing him down. We did spot tonight a really nice buck, from what I could tell in my binos, and a couple of the smaller bucks looked like they're all in public, probably about 700 yards away. So I don't know if we're gonna chase after them or what the plan is. We still have that other buck we chased a few nights ago that we were gonna go chase tonight, but we found all this good sign. Decided to stay here. So we got a few decisions to make tonight. We'll probably have to do some talking around camp and see what uh, Hayden and Warb saw too, and if there's anything worth chasing over there but where the where they were at. So other than that, it's been pretty uneventful. No, no even no shots taken. Not even really any close calls really. So not even a doe. Not even a doe, so that's rough. <laughs> it's been frustrating. Yeah, we've been here for we've been in Missouri for over oh, a week now. Today's Wednesday, so we started hunting on Wednesday. <laughs> so I don't know what else we can do. We've been putting every all our effort into everything that we're doing here. And sometimes it's just deer gotta make mistakes. Sometimes I guess, and they haven't made any mistakes this trip, so. Right out yet? Yeah. Yeah? Well, the sun was right there all day. It was just beating on it, but now it's kind of, well, that's in my face. It dried up. It dried everything right up. I can go back. Tent worked a lot better than the other ones, didn't it? Yeah, it did. It's a nice tent. Pop up tent. Yeah, 12 person tent for, you know, just Ted and I. Worked out really well. All right, guys, so we just got back from Missouri. It was a pretty rough trip overall. We got into a couple bucks throughout the week, but nothing within longbow range or even compound range. So it was kind of a little bit of a bummer. We were, we were definitely hoping to get on some big ones right off the bat with this early season hunting and kind of get away from pressure. So we just got back, probably gonna edit a few videos, and then we're gonna be heading out, I think, just next week again over back there to Missouri and see if we can't get a tag on one. The weather's been switching a lot. It's getting a lot colder now. It's not as warm as it was before. I feel like the deer are really gonna be up on their feet. Last night we did spot a pretty nice buck and also another pretty nice buck too. So we've seen two bucks. So I feel like the action's picking up. We just kind of had to take a break after being there for a week and not really seeing much. So I think we'll just edit a few videos and then we're gonna head out there in a few days next week. So that's the plan. We'll see you guys on the next one. On to the next one, I guess. <laughs> Hopefully we're tagging, yeah. tagging something around the antler. <clears throat> tagging your tag around an antler. Yep. For, I don't know, anything really. <laughs> <laughs> For leg. Yeah. All right, we'll see you guys.